Hi guys, Duckfuck here and welcome to another FIFA 19 player review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 84 rated team of the week, Thomas Partey. He has got a very nice looking card and he did cost me in the region of 55,000 coins and in the five games that I played with him, he scored me zero goals and got me zero assists and he does have a free stoic foot as well as free star skill moves. Then moving along into his in-game stats, his main standout stats are his 89 short passing, his 85 stand tackle, his 89 stamina and finally his 87 ball control and I did have the engine comes applied to Thomas Partey for the five games that I used him with and of course all those games as any other midweek review were played in foot rails and I have to say this card looks absolutely sick man like honestly so well rounded for a sentiment builder really good pace decent shooting not the best passing on the face of the cards but it's still decent you know pretty well rounded 80 dribbling very nice and 82 defending and 84 physical coming in at the height of six foot one as well probably makes his most suited position to be the CDM position but because I don't like you using formations with the CDM in, I just decided to use him as a centre mid um, within the 4-3-3 formation because that is my favourite formation by far in uh, in FIFA 19 and um, yeah, this card just looks absolutely fantastic and uh, just so, so well rounded. But anyway guys, getting along into the first pro it is going to be his passing. Now I previously just touched on a minute ago that his passing doesn't look overly great in the face of his card and it doesn't. 70 passing is not good if you want to be using him as either a centre mid or a CDM but but don't let the face of the card for his passing put you off. Make sure you check his in-game stats because his main um, stats for passing are actually really good. 89 short passing and 83 long passing, which are the main stats you should be looking at for passing from midfielder, are actually really, really decent. Uh, you know, 83 long passing and 89 short passing. And thanks to the uh, engine camp that goes to 94 short passing and 93 long passing. And also his vision isn't too bad either. It's not the most critical stats for either a centre midfielder or for a CDM. It would be more critical if he was playing as a cam. But 76 vision is fine for either a CDM or centre mid position. And crossing free kick accuracy and curve doesn't really matter at all. First of all, free kick accuracy shouldn't even be in passing. In my opinion, it should be in shooting category. And crossing and curve doesn't matter because when are you real, you know, going to ever cross the ball with this guy that's going to be up to your wingers or maybe some of your strikers to provide crosses into the box it's this party card should never really get into a position to make crosses into the box so i wouldn't pay any attention to that whatsoever i thought his passing was really good didn't get me any assists but the way he linked up with the rest of the midfield and uh, attacking trio being able to start attacks and try and create chances was really good and i was actually really impressed with that from thomas Partey. his second pro is going to be his tackling of course his tackling does feel pretty decent in game 85 stand tackle and 82 slide tackles very nice also his 82 marking is decent as well as 18 interceptions i should mention was also pretty nice he just felt really solid in that midfield uh, position and uh, was definitely able to kind of hold his part of the midfield down very very well and uh, i couldn't fault that whatsoever with thomas part a card really really good to be able to make tackles very consistent at doing so and yeah i was very impressed with both his passing and tackling overall uh, a few things to just touch on as well his pace is pretty decent as well for the midfield position that's fine He's also got really good stamina coming in at 18, and so he's not going to get that tired about the game, which is absolutely fantastic. His shooting, um, not great, I'll be honest. Um, I never expected it to be great, so I'm not going to put it down as a con, but um, it's pretty bad. And to be honest, for the position he's playing in, I would have liked... I mean, it's a CDM, he'd never, it wouldn't matter, but as a centre mid, there will be opportunities where you're going to get into positions to score, and I did with this Thomas Partey card, and he just fluffed his shots so badly. Um, but I still won't put it down as a con, though, because I don't think I should. But uh, overall, this card is very, very well-rounded, and I don't have that much of an issue whatsoever. I think he's a little bit on the pricey side. I'd probably recommend waiting till tomorrow evening once the um, the weekly rewards are off. First of all, you might be able to pack him. He's only an 80 for right so there's a decent chance you may be able to get this guy in your uh, weekly rewards or um just wait until they're out and then try and pick him up on like a cheap um, price or something like that because i do think he's going to go down a little bit more in value but anyway guys that's going to finish off this player review thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later